Back when I was a staffer on Hot Rod Magazine, uh, this is circa 1994-95, I built a really well-known project vehicle, which was a 68 Dart with a big block, known as the Cheap Thrills Dart. I guess that put my name on the map for butchering stuff with like hose clamp trans mounts and stuff like that. And this oh, yeah. car reminded me of it so much. This was a pure nostalgia play. Here's the skinny. It's got a swapped in 440 big block, as well as a 727 automatic and an eight and three quarter rear end that's reported to have 450 56 gears in the thing. It seems to run pretty good. It's got a Mopar M1 single plane intake, aftermarket carburetor, air cleaner, MSD ignition, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure the charging system doesn't work. I know that the exhaust system has been cut off the thing, and I suspect it probably overheats on the highway, especially with those gears if we drive it too fast. So this is gonna shock you about what we're gonna be doing to this car in this episode, because it's not really like making it go faster or being better, even though it's sort of a pooch. Nope, this is gonna be all about cosmetics. I've said a million times, I don't care about paint and everything, but I like stuff to be mechanically clean, and this isn't. And to be honest, this paint in the engine compartment is pretty unsightly. <laughs> well, thank you, Freiburger, because <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, because... Oh, you it's know, embarrassing. I, well, I didn't want to hit, like, a nerve or, you know, upset you, but I didn't know if I could live with this engine bay I color. can't. No. So the plan here is take the 440 and the transmission completely out, clear up all of this wiring and junk and weird cooling system and ugly battery and all of that. Oh, it is ugly. And then, yes, Steve, is going to paint the engine compartment in the original Dodge Dart bronze color. I can't wait for the improvement. It's gonna be massive. Oh yeah, look at that, access. Easy as pie. Yeah. I'm also surprised how level it's hanging. Yeah, the level was really good. Now that David's got the whole engine bay cleaned up really nice, what I'm gonna do is get it ready for paint. Now this isn't a full restoration, it's just kind of a fix up and I'm gonna scuff it with 320 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna use the DA sander in places where I can get to it, we'll finish it up by hand. David's gonna remove a couple of more items, maybe the windshield wiper motor and the master cylinder and stuff, and we'll go ahead and prime it and paint it. That's all there is to it. It's too late in the evening to start the painting process on the Dart, and so we're gonna leave that till tomorrow. We're gonna start working on the engine. Normally when I build an engine, I'm really picky about like not painting over gaskets and making sure all the bolts are black and not painted. This, we're just gonna spray can rebuild. Full on fog this thing. First, we're gonna take the transmission off of it, then it's gonna just be hemi orange as long as we got sunlight. Normally when I paint an engine, I use automotive urethane and I completely prep it out like perfectly, but this is just kind of a rattle can rebuild. To make it a little bit better, I'm gonna hit it with some primer first, and then we'll shoot it with some Hemi Orange VHT, which is actually pretty good rattle can paint. The time has come to mix the primer. Now what I'm using here is a DTM primer, which is a urethane. The DTM stands for direct to metal, but don't be fooled, it's made to stick to just about anything. You can put it over old paint, old primer, bare metal cut-throughs, or even e-coat. So that's the primer, and the mix ratio here is pretty easy. It's four parts primer to one part activator and one part reducer, and here goes. I would have already screwed this up. Really? Yeah. You know what that is, don't you? That's Chrysler Turbine Bronze. Yes, and there's a whole yeah. story behind this color. I know that story. You know, you probably know more about it than I do, so <laughs> school me, Freiburger. School you? Yes. Well, first of all, I'll school the audience as a reminder, these Mopars came with a body-colored engine bay, which is why hardcore Mopar strokes hate it when you spray paint them black. Yeah. And it's also why we are painting the engine bay with this, and it's gonna look all nice and gleaming, even though we have no intention of painting the rest of the car. Turbine bronze. 
So from the late 50s all the way through the 60s, Chrysler was heavy into experimenting with turbine engines. And in 1963 and four, they made how many? Uh, I would say 2,200. 55 Ooh. experimental turbine cars. And Jay Leno has one. They're really cool. They're all this color. So here we go. Yeah. It's four to one to one. See how I put the hash marks on there with a Sharpie? So paint, and then what's next? The Hadna. Hardener. Hadna. Reducer. So hardener makes the paint dry. Reducer makes it thin enough to spray. Is that right? Yeah, the hardener is the catalyst. It makes it go off. OK, it's yeah. like spraying JB Weld. Right. I'll tip the can with a little bit of extra. Can I stir it? Go for it. But forever, once you stir that paint, your participation in this exercise is it's going to be over. complete. Yes. yes. I'm aware. You will be leaving the room, my friend. Can I watch? OK. can job came out okay it looks a lot better than it did yeah and now i'm going to install this fuel pump after the fuel pump are you ready to drop it in yeah it's all detailed up instead of rolling the hoist to the car how about we roll the car to the engine it's less work because we're already standing here push 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 there we go wow okay i think down more there, it's in. That is our new 750 Brawler, the least expensive 750 double pumper that I could get at Summer Race. Oh man, that fan's really far from the radiator. We didn't want that stubby clutch, but it's what we had. And of course, you'd also want a shroud, all that stuff. You wouldn't want this sticking up like this. But that's an easy bolt-on change later. Right now, it looks great for TV, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Man, having the bumper on it makes a world of difference, like even though it? it's dented. I just don't care. Do you remember how it was when we first got it with that radiator hanging down and the dangling trans cooler and no bumper? And yeah. It looked all... Yeah, it was all screwed up. Yeah, this is way better. Oh, it's got huge exhaust leaks. Why? Oh, yeah. Uh, Okay. No, no, no. I meant thumbs up, not rev it more. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I thought you knew more RPM. Well, bottom line, this thing runs. We're going to get it all tuned up. We'll have to figure out the timing, which is kind of a problem with the stock distributor. I have to set our new carburetor, and I think pretty soon we'll be doing burnouts. It's running perfectly cool. Remember before it was up at 195 and a plus because it had that thermostat in it? And that crappy radiator too. And now it's running at 140 degrees. Woo! Yeah! This is finally a legitimate 440 dart. Yeah. It's a real 440 dart now. Yeah, man, we tuned another 100 horsepower into this thing. Easy. It drove like a 318 two-barrel dart before. Overall, this is a big improvement. Look at the roof. Oh, I know. I like the entire appearance. Even the stance is pretty good with the crappy wheels and tires. Yeah, if it had better wheels and tires, oh, it'd be we'll a get win. There. Yeah. 
You know what? The whole thing was about motivating me. We made it look better. We made it drive better. We made it more gooder. Yeah. I think we can make this car great. Oh, we can. And if we do, you will see it on a future episode of Roadkill Road Garage. Kill Garage.